Well, greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome back once again to the Farts and Crap Show, where today we have part 58 of Tales of Vesperia revisited, revamped, remastered, uh, whatever it is. It's the definitive edition running on the PS4 Pro. Um, currently still using my PDP fight pad for this because it just feels right, you know? It's really good. Um, hope you guys have been enjoying uh, the new uh, series. Me, uh, myself, Seth and Kate on uh, Metroid Prime 2. If that sort of thing isn't your jam, uh, I get it. You know, it's all good. Uh, but we've been having a good time with it. Uh, the first two videos, I was very, very much out of it. Um, so I had to carefully review those once I had some sleep and some coffee. And uh, yeah, I, I was clearly not all there, but um, you know, sometimes I just don't uh, sleep super well. Uh, and, uh, you know, the show must go on, as they say. So, um, today, um, well, I have a few things to talk about, uh, outside of the game. I know typically we have, I typically like to focus on the story. So you, you know what, I, I might just make a separate video for those, um, for those thoughts. Um, but yeah, they're basically about, um, when is this coming out? Um, I've been pretty behind with this series. So part 57 was recorded pretty recently, and that one came out today, I think, on this date of recording. So yeah, it'll still come out before. Um, basically my thoughts, my take on the uh, Super Mario 35th Anniversary Collection um, event, I guess, not collection, um, the 35th anniversary event, um, and I think there is some misinformation going around about it, uh, of course, with any kind of event like this, with upcoming games, there's going to be speculation, and there's going to be um, a lack of de definite, definite, definitive, definite, um, information, I guess I should say, um, which is more of speculative data, um, because of course, for those of you who are familiar with the uh, with the differences between data or data and uh, information? Information is um, factual, typically. Data is speculative. So you gather data to form a hypothesis. You hopefully gather information for a theory, and uh, facts are supported by information, if that makes sense. So um, anyway, uh, I will probably make a separate video on that because everybody seems to be doing that, and unfortunately I think some of the, uh, some of the misinformation keeps, continues to get spread around. 
Um, and I want to address some of that stuff. Be like, hey, this is speculation. This is interpretation. Um, not necessarily correct. So, um, of course, we might make a standalone video or a short series on one of the games in the collection. So if that's something you guys would be interested in, I'm talking about Galaxy, of course. Um, lauded by many people as one of, well, actually, no, uh, possibly the best 3D Mario game. Um, we might also do a standalone video for uh, 3D World um, because I am a Wii U owner. If you, if that wasn't abundantly apparent by some of our other videos that I have recorded off my Wii U, um, so that's a game that's been in my library for at least a year or two. Um, but yeah, so we might take a look at that. Um, and just kind of use that as like a discussion platform. But anyhow, so um, I kind of forgot what we were supposed to do. Um, we did go to Ospio, uh, did that whole thing, uh, talked to the Critian there, uh, Tort, and apparently we need to go to Agathor Forest. Um, but in order to do that, we need to go to the Hyponian, Hypinion, Hy Hypionian, Hypionian, uh, the Hype continent. And, uh, a cave on a beach where red flowers bloom. So I have no idea where the Hypionian continent is. Um, I believe, I fucking hate the, hate the world map. Um, okay, so library, world map. Uh, town, field, do we know which one the Hypionian continent is? Oh, Wakea. Okay, so that's Wakea, that is not Hypionian, I thought that would be the Hypionian continent. Um, it is not. Sulian Island? Hypionia. Okay. So that's got to be it. I think I know where they're talking about. So if we use... What am I hearing? What is that? I think that's just my PS4. Um, okay, so if we do L3, call ba Baul. Baul. Um... We go south, and it's gonna be down here somewhere. Okay, much further down, the right direction. Um, can I? Oh, okay, there we go. Uh, each in a cave where we're in Polaris Bloom. I think I noted the location. That's got to be it. No, that's got to be it. I was, whatever I was going to say before, I was wrong. Um, now, there's an interesting, like, chunk of land. I thought it was this area. Was it around here? Was it, no, that's Wikia or whatever. Um... Was it not this continent? Hmm. I guess not. That seems to be the entirety of the landmass. Um. Are those materials? Is that what I'm seeing there? I'm gonna go ahead and grab these. Okay. 
that would be helpful. That is one really nice part about having a a flying machine. Uh, yeah, it's got to be this. Let's go ahead and land here. Yep. Oh, it's so pretty here. Wow. I love it. This is it, right? Uh, yeah, I would imagine, I would say so. Sure, AF looks like it. Um, it matches the description Tort gave us, but. A shore in Hippionia where red flowers bloom, right? Maybe Tort tricked you guys. Either that or we came to the wrong place. Wait. I can feel a draft coming from in there. The inside must be hollow. Out of the way! It's open! What kind of a nasty person does something like that? Perhaps they sealed it up to keep fishy people like you from getting in. Whoa! You're really gunning for old Raven? Sometimes you can be so mean, Judith. Uh, What's wrong, Patty? It's nothing. I was just a little scared of the dark. You're scared of the dark? <laughs> you really are a kid. Carol, you're like two years older than her. Look who's talking. If you're scared, you can wait here. I'm fine. I'll go with you guys. Or better yet, she could wait on the ship. Yeah, I like how all the flowers are kind of like moving in unison. <laughs> like different like patches, but definitely like, you know. Oh, got a burp. Eh. Mm. It's the burps and crap show. Or the farts and burps show. I don't know. I mean, we're we're still rebranding. We could really use any of those. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. We're not rebranding. Um, cool. So we got this nice cave. Some really chill ass music. Huh? What is that? What are all these stones doing in a place like this? It's so creepy. Wait, these aren't graves, are they? Maybe we really did come to the wrong place. But even if that's the case, why are there so many here? Why? I can't believe how many there are. I never imagined we'd find a place like this while we were searching for the home of the Critia. There's something written over there. It's I freed, huh? Here lie the victims of the Black Hope Massacre. We mourn their deaths, and in this place, lay their souls to rest. These are all victims of the Black Hope Massacre! And these are the graves of people who were killed by I freed? Yes, but I had no idea there could be so many. No matter how you look at it, this is just too much. You can't expect a child to accept such a cold reality at her age. Hmm. I wonder who built these graves. Who knows? Maybe there were some survivors of the massacre. But this is so horrible. I'm going to look for the key to Miorzo. You all should stay here. Uh, why? What? You're going by yourself? 
We can't bring Patty along when she's like this, can we? There aren't any signs of monsters here. Um. We should go too. Repeat, take good care of Patty, okay? <laughs> He's a good boy. Now we need repeat. Ah, oh, damn it. Carol. Carol, that doesn't mean you get promoted. Come on. If anybody, it's Judith. Um, because I think she still doesn't have experience. Oh, wait, no, she has experience share. Uh. Carol doesn't have experience share? Does he really not have it? Wow. Uh, skills? He don't see, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, he doesn't have it. Huh. Um, I mean, I guess he can be in the party, whatever. Get a little bit of experience while, um... People like Gale evade. Um, he might be okay. Chain, Hellfire, Spirits. Uh, dude, 702, that's quite good. High Fatal Tension, damage when he's Magic Guard. Um, Alembic. It's like a curative type thing, right? Let's go with that. Play the, uh, I'll be fine. Um, but don't, but don't, but don't. Um, yeah, perfect green, maybe. Combo force again? Basic combo attack. Let's use while staggering. Ah. Uh. Grim Cardian. Oh, I have two of those? Oh, right, because I found one in a treasure chest, right? Um, yeah, I guess perfect green probably. Cloak, Emerald Ring, that's fine. Oh. Oh, Emerald Ring. You know, I'm going to give that to Estelle. Uh, yeah, reduces element uh, physical damage. And... Or maybe I'll just give her the holy... What was it? The holy symbol? I don't know what the hell they mean by occasionally. Oh right, I got that shield for Estelle, and I didn't equip it. Um, Night Shield, Ice Coffin, that's fine. Okay. Ruby, still learning that one. Fucking fruit fly, man. Ah, I just saw another fruit fly. I fucking hate those things. Oh, she's still... Okay, I, fuck, I should have made those sandals for her. Uh, I wasn't thinking about it. Um, Saphir? Oh! 1.5 times more gold. Huh. Maybe I should give that to Carol. Okay, that'll be fine. Um, damn, there's a lot of branching paths in here. Marine suit. Oh, cool. Um, I feel like this is probably the right way, but... It's dead end. Looks like a dead end. Maybe the old man was right, and we really did come to the wrong place. There weren't any other shores with red flowers, were there? 
Do you mind if I take a look at that? Yeah, there were like two other ways to go. Illusion be undone. It is I of the chosen people whom you have anxiously awaited. Oh, dope. A door? What? What did you do? The Critians possess an ancient power known as the Nagig that can read the information in objects. Hmm, okay. So she probably could have, uh, just like done that at the entrance instead of uh, Rita blowing up a chunk. I to learn the secret phrase that would remove the enchantment that hid this door. I see. So this is what Tort meant when he said the door could only be opened by a Critian. Now, let's go inside. Uh, not quite yet. I'm gonna check around for some other stuff. I just, uh... Okay, so that was one. And up here... So, oh, also for Patty. That's cool. I mean, it's nice she's finally getting some, like, story progress, you know? Um, because, the I mean, thus far, the game hasn't really been about her. Could this be the key for the door to Miorzo? Mm, maybe. Yes, we were told it's a bell, so this has to be it. Nice. It's owned by the Great Critian Guide. Cool. Still, why is there a graveyard in the cave where the bell was hidden? It's just a coincidence. Maybe. I bet the person who built that graveyard didn't know the bell was hidden here. Mm, yeah, probably. I guess that's to be expected with the door being invisible. Maybe the person who closed the entrance to this cave was the one who built the graveyard. What for? Who knows? Maybe to prevent grave robbing. Or maybe there was some other reason they had to hide this place. It is true that Tort never said anything about the cave entrance. You might be right. So someone went to all the trouble of burying those people in such a remote location? Is that really all it is? I don't know, but we've got the bell we came for, so let's go back and see Patty. Yuri. Did Eifried really kill all those people? Maybe he did. Patty. That's the truth she was after. Yes, but she wasn't at all prepared for it. Right. Let's hurry back. Okay. Sounds good. I was just, um... I was just dicking around with the D-pad, um, because this is a GameCube-style controller, and uh, they really didn't change the D-pad very much. Um, I was just thinking, man, I wonder if anybody likes using this kind of D-pad for like, uh, like 2D fighting games like Street Fighter and shit. I would imagine probably not. I really like the ambient music in here though, it's really cool. Thank you, Repeat. We got what we came for. Can you stand up, Patty? We're going. Are you going already? Are you okay? I'm fine. Don't push yourself, okay? Cypher. Can you come with us? Could she be? She's remembering. I don't know. She might be remembering. 
Um, I mean, I believe a cipher is a tome that is meant to is used for like translation. And uh cryptography, I want to say. Um I'm going to look that up real quick. Cryptography cipher. In cryptography, a cipher is an algorithm for performing encryption or decryption, a series of well-defined steps that can be followed as a procedure. An alternative, less common term is encipherment. To encipher or encode is to convert information into cipher or code. In common parlance, cipher is synonymous with code, as they are both a set of steps that encrypt a message. All right. So yeah, I was, I was very close. <laughs> Neat. I think that was like some information I had like in the back of my brain. Um, Because, like, in 2000, 2001, whatever, um, when I watched The Matrix for the first time, I was like, Cypher, that's a cool name. All we've got left to do is to ring the bell we just got in Agathor Forest. And then, like, I looked it up to be like, I wonder what this name means. Um, I think that's when I learned about it. Like, first heard about, like, cryptography and shit um because like it's been kind of bothering me like this past week because like i looked because i mentioned something about it when i was like barely coherent when uh we played um we did the first couple recordings for metroid prime 2 and um i was just like something that because we were talking about like Rosetta Stone like um as like a shorthand for like oh yeah you gotta go find the uh the uh the language download patch or whatever for Samus's suit so she can open these locks but um Yeah. So that was interesting. I agree. To me, anyway. If, if you guys uh, find that sort of thing interesting, cool. I would, uh, you know, it's great to learn things and shit. Keep your brain active. And uh, just, yeah. Yuri, I need to talk to you. What is it? I'd like to say goodbye to all of you now. Oh no. It's time for us to part ways. Oh no. You sure? Why so sudden? You don't like traveling with us anymore? No, that's not it. If you feel uncomfortable around us because of what you learned about Eifried, then... Just don't want to cause you guys any more trouble. Even if you don't mind, well, I do. Patty. What kind of nonsense is that? Rita? 
Every single one of these guys causes nothing but trouble. That's like Estelle's default. She just like looks concerned and says the person's name. <laughs> like Patty, Rita, Yuri, Raven. Do you really think you're any more of a troublemaker than the rest of us? Yeah, seriously. Rita. <laughs> oh no, Patty, you're doing it too. Shit. If it's really just so you can focus on what you need to do, then I won't try to stop you. Hi. It'll be lonely around here without you. Yeah, why are we on the ocean? Like, I mean, not that I'm complaining, but this boat can fly. You know? We've come this far together. There's no need to hold back. We crossed the desert and fought so many battles together. Besides... You don't need to give an answer here and now, do you? Plus, if you leave us now, we won't be able to pilot the ship and we'll be in real trouble. <laughs> really? That's... She's been doing that this whole time? Okay. Why? Just think about it after your emotions have calmed down. You can pick what you want to do then. Until that time, though... Why don't you come with us? Okay. All right. It's off to Agathor Forest. Yeah. We just got to get rid of those suspicious guys and ring the bell, right? Yes. <laughs> Patty, you're in trouble, girl. Trouble, girl. Oh, cool. We got a skit. of what the geezer did forced to face reality it'd discourage anyone mm. she looks so miserable what can i possibly say to help her it's best to leave her alone for now ah uh, repeat <coughs> what's troubling you repeat <coughs> repeat the thing is pooch is the best companion in times like these i hope that she can find some measure of peace this way Okay, I don't know why they do that. Like some of the skits are just like really quiet. Like I think I think I even turned down the fucking BGM. Like just sometimes the audio mixing in this game, man. Oh, maybe I didn't. I guess I Hmm. Yeah, skid volume is all the way up. I think two notches down will probably do it. Um, let me just adjust the uh, game capture to accommodate, which should be about there. That should do it. I think... Wait, what the... Oh, it's like... There's certain areas you can't... Yeah, and then you have to fly. Okay. Okay, we need a lift bowel. So where are we going exactly? They didn't really specify where this place would be. Gritian Town. Make their way towards Agathor Forest. Okay. Where would be... Where would that be? Uh, which should be found in a cave. 
Oh no, we already have that. Um... Did they not clarify where Agathor Forest is? Creating guide, creating these tours, testimony. Agathor Forest, a land sacred to the Critian people. We, uh, that's where we went. Find the bell. I came to every defense, my area of villain dejected. Yeah, okay. Gray stones in the southern region. Great. town made their way towards Agathor Forest. Okay, but where is that? Like, did they not specify? Probably be a dungeon. Okay, an uncharted continent. Okay. Okay. What the fuck? Oh, the area where the Agathor Forest is located. Okay, so it was on my world map, and that's it. <laughs> what the fuck? They really didn't specify that at all. Uh, so would it be like around here or? Oh, well that's a thing. Can't land there, can I? Nope. Uh, I can land there, but, oh. Yeah, maybe here. So of course, any of these could be Agathor Forest. But they did say the western part of the continent. And usually you can spot things. It might be this. What even is that? I don't know. Um, I don't think that's what we're looking for, though. Can I still walk over here if I need to? Yeah, I can. Okay, so I guess I'll just park it here. Wait, is that? What is that? Oh, okay, material is cool. Uh, what the fuck? Where'd the boat go? I guess I'll just call... Wait, how... How do you board the... Wait, no, stop. Stop. I'm curious what this is. I should probably also save because I don't... Oh, wow, this place is gorgeous. Um... Also, I need to start wrapping up this episode. Life bottle. Okay, those are always good. Door shut. Doesn't seem like it can open. Okay. So I'm assuming I need to come back here later. Which I'm totally fine with. Uh-oh. I have no idea how strong these guys might be, so hopefully we'll be okay. Hopefully... No. Oh. They're not dying, but I'm not getting wrecked, so...
Oh good, he learned something. Oh, because that's an altered art, okay. Yeah, took care of him okay. 4,000 gold for one fight? Alright, maybe I'll just walk over there because this uh, seems to be pretty lucrative. Um, we haven't been doing a lot of fights recently, so I might be under leveled. What's coming? Wow, what is this thing? It's like an armadillo thing? Fucker. Stop. Stop. That's a giant freaking weapon Carol's got there. Um, oh, you know what I should be doing? Nice. 18%. Not bad. Not bad. Um, Carol, nice aid smash. Let's do that. Uh, do that again. There we go. Okay, so... Okay, so this is still considered a base art. And I don't have... That's weird, I don't have the altered art yet. Which is strange. Um, Destruction field, also a base art. Because they were saying... You can link... What was it? You can link arts... Combo, follow up with the base art. Base art, arcane art. Almost okay. Bring it over limit, right, right. Uh, once set, some skills will cause certain arts to change. Change that. Alter arts. Some arts only change multiple skills or set. Try various combinations. Skills Super Chain 4 and Super Chain 5 are set. Base art and altered art and an arcane art. Okay. Super Shame 4 and Super Shame 5. Okay. Is that just like other arts? Okay. So that's why. So I don't have it yet. I can use it, but I don't have it. Because it still just shows. Stop. Okay, so not all of them can be chained like that. Yeah, I feel good. Combo fatal exceed. Oh, okay, cool. So I got those things. All right, good stuff. Uh, so I can take off the high Sarugi and 
Magical status boost. Thanks, Smash. Um, Fatal Finish. Fatal Finish. Yeah, okay. Super Chain 4. Oh, okay. That's the thing that they were talking about. Oh, that's so good. Okay. Ah, Limbic. Gale. FS bonus. Anti-element. Okay. Um, okay, so FS bonus. I don't really care about that. Enduring over limit. Uh, Alembic Gale evade to 784. Okay, so I guess I'll use this one because I don't want these to fade into obscurity. Um, so yeah, if it's an older one, I'm just going to go ahead and do it now. Um, but yeah, that's basically the end of the episode, guys. So thank you for being here. Um, I don't know if the experience counts if you, like, miss your target. This person great deluge, okay, cool. Um... So yeah, I'm just gonna hit some, uh... Let's eliminate them. Oh, this is pretty. I like it. Uh, I'm just gonna hit, like, a bunch of fights along the way. Um... I'm trying to actually learn... Azure Storm. Because, I mean, it's really good, especially for a ranged attack, you know? And another thing. We're done. Yeah, I'm not sure if I've even learned it yet. I've used it a bunch, but it might be one of those things like you have to use it like a hundred times or some shit before you actually earn it. I really don't know. I mean, it's a great way to start a fight, for sure. Just, like, close the gap, just to, like, do some damage early on. Oh, dip. Oh, shit. Oops. Wrong thing. I'm just gonna keep using Azure Storm. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm gonna save the game there, guys. Uh, we're gonna find the forest. Um, do that on the next episode. Uh, meanwhile, gonna be trying to learn uh, some of the altered arts, just kind of get my guys a little bit up to speed because I've definitely found a few of the story fights where I got my, got my butt kicked. Um, but I kind of like going through like this, because, like, if you ignore grinding and just try to power through it, um, it's a bit more challenging. It, like, kind of forces you to learn the game systems uh, and all that shit, because I don't think we're under-leveled per se. I think... Well, we might be, but... Um, I think I've actually just not been, like building up my arts like I should be because I mean your basic attacks are okay but in the Tales of games especially this era of Tales of games it's really all about your arts um, which is fine by me because I find that disappointing in a lot of JRPGs where you can just spam basic attacks over and over again um, because that's not really fun so Anyways, see you on the next one. Thanks for stopping by. Have a beautiful day. And until next time, uh, drink some water. Oh, I did that one recently. It's great to hydrate. Um, I hope you get some good sleep. Yeah, because 
these come out every other day and uh if you can't sleep until the next uh, Tales of video, it's, uh, yeah. I hope you get some good rest, though, so. Um, so, yeah, that's it. Bye-bye for now.